Tom Claus, show me the vehicle pursuit on a gray Sadler currently going southwest on Davis Avenue, TAC 1. Channel switched. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Alright, we're currently going on to uh, stand by here. We're currently User on Dutch London Street, channel. just passing under the Port of Freeway. Currently going northbound Dutch London Street. Going to be coming up towards the Vespucci area. Suspect wanted for uh, obstruction of public duty, driving without a license. All right, currently going South Rockford Drive, heading northwest through the Porta area. Su yeah, suspect is in a gray Sadler. Walker, okay. uh, Jason. Going on Ginger Street now, past the LTD yeah, eastbound. Yeah, you can take all the Go ahead. Uh, we'll be north on Kalais Avenue at this time, coming up on Vespucci Boulevard, crossing Vespucci Boulevard, north on Kalais Avenue. We'll be coming up on San Andreas Avenue. From your channel. Making a westbound turn on San Andreas Avenue, crossing over Palomino District, out that north on Palomino Avenue. Great Sadler, occupied times and warns, we'll be entering the, the La Puerta Freeway, headed southbound, on the correct line of traffic. We'll be on the La Puerta Freeway, southbound, correct line. Crossing over Vespucci Boulevard. And continuing south, we will not be taking the Olympic off-ramp. We're still south La Puerta Freeway on the correct line of traffic. Crossing over Innocence, still up with everywhere southbound. We'll be taking the... never mind that. We're continuing south and up with We're not taking the off-run by Dodge London. We'll be following up with everywhere on the bridge over Legion Island. Just southeast on La Puerta Freeway. We currently have two units in pursuit line. I got you, keep going. Oh, we're still only love with that freeway, just over the Elysian Island, so we'll be coming out on the Elysian Fields Freeway once we get off this bridge. Mm -hmm. Still Elysian Fields Freeway, or now Elysian Fields Freeway, still over Elysian Island. He's in the correct line of traffic. And leaving the docks area. We're coming down the highway bridge. Towards the Murata oil field. We're on the Legion Fields freeway still, northbound correct lane, just by the oil field. Towards the LF Speedway, take that and uh, get the spikes. Sort of and we're eastbound at Rancho Boulevard. At Rancho Boulevard, we'll be coming up on Alboro Heights, the correct lane that is, headed northbound. Passing through the Alboro Heights area, making an eastbound turn on Sustentia Road, and out into the county. Yeah, we still have two units in pursuit line. Substantia Road, just north eastbound, out towards Twin Towers. We'll be leaving the oil fields on Substantia. We're approaching Twin Towers on Sustentia Road. And we'll be passing by the Twin Towers entrance, coming up on Palomino Freeway. We'll be northbound Palomino Freeway on the correct lane of traffic. Northbound Palomino Freeway, correct lane of traffic. We'll be coming up on the Palomino Freeway, pit stop, gas station. Passing by the Palomino Freeway gas station, still northbound on the correct lane.
Yeah, a little bit easy. Yeah, we're by the wind parks. We took the off ramp northbound. We went to Norway at this time. Between the wind park and the oil refinery. Very north into Norway. Walk out, Chad. We're coming up on the diner, diner on the Norway. Passing by the diner on the Norway. And coming up on the Snow Freeway. We will not be taking the freeway, we'll be continuing north westbound and now onto Route 68. And we'll be going off Route 68, Panorama Drive, westbound. Coming up on the Sandy Shores Airfield on Panorama Drive, passing by the airfield coming up on Joshua Road and into Sandy Shores itself we'll be in Sandy Shores we're making an eastbound turn on Argon Queen Boulevard an immediate southbound turn Lolita Avenue and Zancudo Avenue eastbound eastbound on Zancudo Avenue in Sandy Shores Making a south turn. We exiting Sandy Shores on the eastern side, and we'll be taking East Joshua Road, tethered eastbound, out of Sandy Shores. We still have two units in pursuit line. Still eastbound, East Joshua Road. We will be making a northbound turn on CV Road, which is going to lead us to Grapeseed. Pulling CV Road northbound into the Grapeseed area or the Mackenzie Airfield primarily at this time. Still CV Road, passing by the Mackenzie Airfield on the southern side. And we'll be entering Grapeseed on the southern side momentarily. Disregard that, we'll be continuing westbound off road North Calafia Way. We will not be entering Grapeseed. North Calafia Way, dirt paths just southwest of Grapeseed and north of the Alamo Sea. The dirt probably coming out on Calafia Road. North Calafia Way this time. Direction and change will be headed westbound. We'll be coming out on Calafia Road and potentially Step City if continued. We're approximately two thirds into North Calafia Way. We disregard that. Vehicle is tempted to be boxed in. And we're continuing westbound North Calafia Way. Going to be coming up on the path towards the uh, Zancudo Tunnel on Calafia Road. Once we merge out of there from North Calafia Way. That was for North Calafia Way. And we will be taking Calafia Way. Calafia Road. We will not be taking tunnels. Alright, we're on Calafia Bridge on Calafia Road. At its southbound. Crossing over the bridge, passing this regard that we'll make a westbound turn on Cassidy Trail from Calafia Road. We're following Cassidy Trail directly westbound. And we're still following Cassidy Trail. Make the lights are off. 
The vehicle is taking a bridge towards the north Cassidy Trail or the northern part of Cassidy Trail across the river. But when the dirt road is north of Cassidy Trail in the state wilderness, still headed westbound, it will be coming out on the wilderness and then eventually Great Ocean. At this time, we're approximately two thirds through. Vehicle to seat with a tree. I will be stationary on your dirt path, which is north of Cassidy Trail, approximately two thirds towards Great Ocean. Well, I don't know if I can see him. Ah, oh, there we go, yeah. Bud lights on the suspect's vehicle. Units behind him, at the station. We got two units on scene. Alright, so up in the high risk formation and uh, start as soon as you get a backup unit there with you. Oh. Out of the vehicle, and we have a foot bale, Caucasian male, top layers, blue jeans. We'll be headed directly westbound. Let me have one stay with the vehicle if possible. Let me get a uh, 2 like a 20 to that when he rides. We'll be continuing westbound into the direct wild or into the forest. Now, southbound, yeah, yeah. we'll be coming up to the disregard that. We'll be northbound again. To the track, to the track, yeah. Yeah, we're north, north westbound. We'll be on the dirt path again. Once again, it's a Caucasian male, black beanie, skin colored hoodie, and dark uh, blue jeans. And we're continuing the dirt path into the wilderness, just north Cassidy Trail across the river. anyone responding from Great Ocean Highway, then you can intercept them pretty much. Yep, I'm, I'm by the Great Ocean Highway. Yeah, we're, we're running further into the trail. wilderness. We're directly north eastbound at this time. Butler remains on a suspect. We're paralleling cruiser, Great Ocean Highway in the wilderness. Take, go straight, cruiser, uh, SUV, just go straight, take a left. Go straight, go straight, go straight. Go straight. No, 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 no. Yeah, Down straight. Here. Yeah, and then take a left up the road. Yeah. I right, got your finger. Yep. No problem. That's a bit stationary. Yeah, he just slipped. Good job. Yeah, keep going, cruiser, right there. I right, will be. Uh, we're gonna be static for now. Um, we can. Go ahead and play the sound take for communication to LTAC 1. User left your channel. User left your channel. User left channel your switched. channel.
Hello there everybody and welcome to another Let's Play with the LSPD on GTA World. That last pursuit was insane, so I originally pulled the guy over for having no license and no valid insurance. Then he tried handing me a fake identification from the state of Arizona, which did not fly, and it led on to a 20 minute pursuit basically, and there was only two units in line, so I didn't really want to pit him because there were so few units. And we are code 6 with this uh, person here on this uh, jester since they called in for backup, so just gonna call this in. All right, and the marker sells is code six. So yeah, that pursuit was pretty intense, uh, or not that intense actually, it was pretty slow speed, but it was fun. The guy overall, as far as the driving and stuff goes, role played correctly, which is, Sometimes a rare occasion, so overall it was a decent pursuit, even if it wasn't an insane one. Hope you guys did enjoy it, though. By the rest of the guy, I charged him with, uh, obstruction of public duty. Uh, what was the other ones? Vehicular endangerment and evading a peace officer. So the guy ended up going to jail for two days total for his, uh, character. That's how long you get jailed for. So it was silly you treat that as, like, whatever, two months or something like that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So I've pulled this person over a couple times before and encountered them over with Sealy. Uh, I don't know if they watch my videos or not, but if they do, hello. <laughs> So anyways, uh, like I said, I don't really know what she did per se, but we'll let the officer handle it and see what's going on. Uh, it's really up to the initial responding officer to handle this. But anyway, yeah, this is funny. I've had a couple encounters with this character. It's kind of fun. The first encounter I had, she was there doing burnouts and stuff over on, uh, where the heck was that? Alboro Boulevard, I believe. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, I was out on Alboro Boulevard, she was about in here with a few other ricers and stuff doing burnouts, and I just rolled up casually in the unmarked red, uh, Buffalo SX and, uh, lit her up, and she's like, oh shit. <laughs> Definitely was not expecting the cot to, uh, pull up while she was in the middle of doing that. I let her go, because they were just having fun and whatnot. So, like I said, I don't know what she's pulled over for here and all that stuff, but uh, we will wait and see. I highly doubt she's going to take off. She's, she's always pulled over and stuff like that, so... Definitely not somebody I would consider an evader or anything like that. I don't think she's ever been arrested for evading or anything of that nature. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I highly doubt she's going to take off from here. Probably just a speeding charge or a citation for speeding is my guess. We had the buffalo this morning. Uh, the reason being is because it's the time User joined the channel. Hello, I'm recording for my video. Say hi. Hello, hello, hello. So Would the you like a we cup have of the tea? Buffalo at this time of morning, guys, is uh, because this is usually when the high speed racers and stuff, or not high speed racers, but people just like to drive at high speeds this time of the day, and because there's a low amount of players on the server, and uh, that, that's generally a good time that the Buffaloes and Interceptors out at night time, though. Traffic's a little heavier, so they're not as common of a problem. But, uh, Miss Gray over here, uh, what you pull her over for? Oh, uh, drifting from the junction of sinner and integrity. Uh oh. And reckless. Uh oh. I th I was just saying for uh, the people that are gonna be watching this later. I just said I the initial contact I ever had with her, which is the first time she had anything on her record. Actually, I didn't even give her anything on her record. I gave her a warning. It was back in like late January, early February. Anyway, that she was at a ricer meeting in Alberta Boulevard doing donuts in a parking lot and whatnot, so I didn't care that much, but I rolled up in the red buffalo and just lit her up, and she's like, oh shit. <laughs> oh dear. But, um, 
these two cars on this street have been involved in vehicular activity, and then we had a Mr. Bean Mobile evade one of the units. Oh god. Oh, someone else pulled over over there too, are they? Yeah, a similar concept. Reckless, fun, fun. I think. How do you feel to be featured on YouTube now? Don't you just feel so famous with all whole 500 viewers? Actually, speaking of that, guys, we're at 2,000 subs now. So that's cool. 2,000 subs? That's not too bad. No. It's taken a while, because when I started doing this, I think I had like 1,100. So it's definitely slowly grown over the course of the last year and a half. It's been like a very, very slow like uptick, but now I find like all my Let's Plays within a few days get 500 views or bare, bare minimum 400 if it's not like it's an action pack let's play. Ooh. I've been watching a lot of your recent videos. You seem to get a lot of good highlights. Yeah. So now like if I'm in a good pursuit or something I'll try and record it and put it at the start because I'm going to be real. Everybody loves watching a good pursuit. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. But, and then it's the other part of the players that watch them because they just enjoy like the casual RP and stuff like that. Oh yeah, 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 you got to throw a bit of a mix in there. Go to your last call for um, service. That's a bit of a late response. What is it? It was a 911 that call That is a very a, late uh, response. That's, who, whatever happened, they're probably dead. There's probably, there was like, I saw three SD units and I saw uh, oh, okay. a other unit I that feel like SD miles, has that could have responded, but right no one now. did. You are. I said I feel like SD has as many units on as we do right now. Yeah, the, the, it's starting to climb. They had more than us. Uh, I stopped an SD unit for a brief second, uh, doing 140 over Vespucci Bridge. <laughs> oh, they had... They had uh, more... It was a covert car as well. They got... Yeah, they got six or seven units on duty. Do they have more members Jeez. than we do now? Um, I don't think. I really don't know. They're probably closer to the same size now than what they used to be. They're definitely, they've definitely got a lot of members, which I'm happy to see. I like the SD. I mean, both both PD and SD now, like, their main focus seems to be the city, so which is whatever. Well, as much as I think uh, we should divert some units into... Um, County again, try and revive it. I, I do like the idea that. While, uh, but I'm gonna tell you, man. I'm gonna tell you, like, the last few times I tried patrol note in the county, it seems like way less players play out there than what they used to. Yeah. Like, it seems like county RP has really just died off. So I can't really say I blame SD for uh, coming to the city a lot more to roleplay these days. Because <laughs> it seems like the county is just absolutely. A desert. We did a highway patrol op out there in traffic last week. I hosted it. It was during. Oops, I just stuck my middle finger in the window. <laughs> it was uh, when we had we had five or six units participating, and the server had about 600 players online. We only had maybe like five or six traffic stops in two hours, if that. Or no, sorry. Yeah, we had six or seven traffic stops in one pursuit in two hours, which honestly is not that high considering, like, you'd figure more people would be driving on the highway out there at th that time of day. There used to be a lot more, like, I used to be able to sit on the highway and just constantly knock off a car every couple minutes. Even at the less peak hours, and now it's just kind of yeah. like you're sitting there for ten minutes before you get a car. So I'm, I definitely think a lot less people play out in the county now. Oh, yeah. Well, to be honest, you can't blame them. The service size is well, the map size is quite large for the it's server population. Big. But at the end of the day, I don't like the servers where it's restricted to one district. I don't oh like that servers. Oh god, me neither. I, I, I do think we should have just limited straight to city until we was able to go county. Uh, so have stuff I like highway say, patrol like, don't script instead a bunch of, of stuff in the county type deal. Because I'll be honest, a lot of the city does feel dead even downtown sometimes during peak players. Like, the only spot that doesn't always feel dead is so central. I, I think as far as that goes, though, it's a bit too late to backtrack. It just is what it is at this point. You giving her a ticket? 
I'm giving her the double bonus, the grilling and the ticket. Oh no! <laughs> reckless? Yeah, I'm gonna give her a summons for reckless and get a plea on the scene and then let her go. Not gonna you know what? Her. I find that really weird how we have to get a plea for. I don't think it's realistic. I mean. I think it's kind of dumb. This should well, be an infraction version of reckless. So, for those watching, it changed about a month or two ago. Um, so, with misdemeanors, we have the choice of charging them or straight up saying you're coming to jail and you do the full arrest process. And when you charge them and didn't arrest them, they have the option of going to court within the 72 hours and contesting it just like a normal fine. Because let's be honest with the misdemeanor, if you get charged and fined for it with things like reckless driving and stuff, that's basically all it is. It's an infraction, but just slightly more seriousness to it. But now they want you to get a plea right on the scene to see how they plea, which is kind of odd because I don't really think it solves anything because they still have the option of going to court within 72 hours. I don't know, it just kind of seems pointless and not a whole lot of sense behind it. But maybe someone that's watching this has a bit more uh, knowledge um, to well, that than we do. <laughs> if, uh, if they plea guilty and they refuse to pay the citation, then there's going to be a lot more... Um, there's going to be a lot less leeway when it comes to uh, dealing with them as far as the magistrate goes for... Now, how often do we go after people for not paying tickets? <laughs> uh, you can actually just submit uh, warrants for those charges, and yeah. uh, or you can actually submit to a district attorney, and they will handle it. And if it reaches, I think, over 20k, they can start doing asset seizure, uh -huh. which is what I really like. Man, you must really be giving her the grilling out there. <laughs> you gotta love the air horn play once in a while. She she tried to pull the um, I rarely do this stuff kind of uh, card, and I was uh, uh -oh. like, well. She says she's going to accept the ticket, so tough shit. <laughs> Alright, Miss Gray is taking the longest time I've ever seen to write a damn traffic report. Or oh, a traffic she's, taking, ticket. she's taking like a good two minutes to respond to each one of my messages. You know so. what? It's probably your fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck. She saw your face and she said, oh, let's type a bit slower. Oh, you little ass! I PM'd her. I said, I PM'd her and said, not you again. <laughs> well, I'm saying if you weren't so adamant about giving them a ticket, you wouldn't have issues about her not responding. Sadly, I can't play super long today because I had to go to work it a bit, a little bit later. That flatness. Yeah. Oh well. Anyways, I'm just gonna jump out of the channel because I don't trust myself to end up on YouTube. Goodbye, mister. Goodbye, mister. Bro, I didn't know there was a notepad on him. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, it, yeah it, there is. Now. I forgot about that too. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank it's a lifesaver. I was right? there with a giant ass clipboard about the size of my uh, character's look forehead. Look at that. We're witnessing this live on YouTube. Live right here in action. Actually, it's not technically live when I upload it, but you know what I mean. It's <laughs> <laughs> pre recorded, yeah. but live on YouTube. Miss Anna Gray is choosing the new animation, the notepad. <laughs> User left your channel. Oh my god. You know what's funny too, like, not that this guy is, but there was a car that passes before that was like flying up on us. He's like, oh, the police are there, maybe I should slow down.
I like how we tell them to do that, but technically there's nowhere legal in the whole state to do it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, finally gave her the citation. After 20 million years. 20 million years to try, 20 million years to frustration, and a gray is given Athena Petraki your ticket. And we can go back on patrol. Hasn't been very busy this morning. Um, here and there, there's been a few 911 calls, but traffic stops are starting to increase. Yeah, like I said, it is that time of the morning where people just just like, ooh, no traffic. That the truckers. You know what I haven't done is go after the truckers very much at all recently. I really need to start doing that again because that was fun. Thank you for giving me a heads up. I'm going to do that now. <laughs> oh my god. That when I first joined traffic, I actually used the truckers as practice for like writing more tickets and stuff like that. Does that mean? Um, well, no, because I'm going to be honest with you, right? Yeah. If any person in a real life scenario was swinging the trucks and vans like they do, that's true. They would be going to prison, right? That's so true. It's only fair that we give them a lot of tickets until they start to be a lot more courteous on their driving. Oh my. Uh, you remember that pers- I think you were there, you remember that pursuit that we had with a bus? Oh, I think so. Yeah, um... Uh, Vaguely. Yeah, uh... Welcome to GTA World. <laughs> <You> <laughs> because know, you chase a bus. You know what? We need actual buses. There needs to be a bus line that people can run as a job, like you know how they do the trash. Oh, truck. there is. Um, there, there is. is. However, it's yeah. There is the uh, LS Transit. However, it's very sparse and it's run by government factions. So I think you need uh, to apply or go through some other route. We need one that's like one of the side job things. So <laughs> it would be great as a side disease. job. I think at one point, yeah, you can actually buy your own bus and do your own transport. Really. Yeah, you can actually buy a bus, although it's kind of unrealistic, really. Well, no, you can own a bus in real life. You do I want to know how much transit. this so-called bus cost? Huh? Uh, but it's, I think it's 100k? Really? 90k, 100k? Yeah, it's quite cheap. Oh. I should start a bus alt. <laughs> I reckon what we should do is make a uh, bus squad. Bus LSPD squad? LSPD bus squad. Yeah, then have buses around the city. Yeah, we just have like an armed police escort. Well, you know what though, like a lot <laughs> of secure transit. Because of the way the rental system and stuff works, taxis don't even fucking ex hardly exist now. I can't use that language. I didn't use that language, YouTube. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you need to put some bleeps in there. Beep, beep, beep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. But because of the way the startup system works with rental cars, and you get like 10 grand, whatever it is, an hour, I forget yeah. exactly, or 5 grand, I think, over the course of 40 hours, taxis hardly exist. They hardly ever get used. The bus system might as well not even have one. They've really got to amp it up so taxis are a bit more useful, because I'm going to be honest, most people that use the taxis are noobs at this point. Like, And that's only for like the first little while that they even use them until they get a better car. What I do like is there is some taxi companies, but I would like to see them being more active again. But I don't I want hardly them to be ever troll see a drivers. taxi now, dude. I used to see like five or ten a day, and now I don't see any. Yeah, it's, you, I, I like seeing Habib's taxis. Uh, although I'm go, I'm going to admit there was some um, slightly questionable behaviour from some people driving it's, taxis, it's as okay. we've seen. Don't they um, drive crazy in real life sometimes? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will agree. The one I went in just about two, three weeks ago, the guy was going at least ten, twenty over the limit. Wow. Yeah, and then the one that I went in in Spain, actually, actually, you know those mini roundabouts that you can actually drive over that you're not actually supposed to. Yeah. Um, it sits about one feet off the ground uh, in the center, and it just literally jumps over it with a little uh, taxi van. Wow. I was in Spain just there, and all of a sudden I was going back to the airport and. Bang, just jumps over the top of it, and they're like, whatever floats your boat. 
Or yeah. this guy, whatever floats your taxi. <laughs> definitely certain things on the server need some reform, but at the same oh, time, yeah. because it's so... The server's getting old now, honestly. How old's the server? Four years now, or a little older than that? It's about... That. So, let me think... Coming up to five years. Holy shit. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, the server's getting kind of old, so like the older it gets, the harder it is to sometimes reform things. Oh, yeah. But Big I can time. tell you... Because uh, certain close. things are just set in the server, and it's hard to get a change after that. Now, I saw the same thing on Red County, right? And I'm sure it was the same thing on LSRP, mm. where certain things have just been around so long, or been a certain way for so long, it's very hard to get it to change. Oh, yeah. Um, I came from plenty of communities where Did eventually... you do RCRP? I forget. Uh, I, I, I wasn't on RCRP, uh, but I you do... You Yeah. I think they're supposed to be coming to GTA 5 or they are in no, GTA 5. they cancelled the project. No, sorry, sorry, that's LSRP. Yeah, and we will see how that goes. They postponed the release again. <laughs> I I'm personally not going to play there. I mean, here's my, opinion. Thing here's my opinion on the whole situation. A lot of people are expecting that to be a lot better than what it's probably actually going to be. And I think LSRP and GTA World are going to be about the same servers, plus or minus 5%. I'm going to agree with you there. There's a, there's a lot of people. The only thing that people think is going to be better is because it's that new hype. It's like when people mm -hmm. thought exactly. Cyberpunk was going to be great. And, and at it the end just of the day, hype. the GTA World script, to my knowledge, I didn't play on LSRP hardly. I don't even remember if I played on LSRP on the stamp. I think I might have once or twice. But uh, the thing is, at the end of the day, the GTA World script, to my knowledge, is fairly close to what the stamp LSRP script was with some additions yeah. at the end of the day. So people have, like, I just, even if the scripting is a little bit better with some of their stuff on LSRPV, I just don't foresee it at the end of the day being that much different. You're still going to run into the problem of, let's say, their, their player base obviously isn't going to be a bit bigger than GTA World. Maybe the first day it will be with the new hype and whatnot, but let's be honest, after a couple of days it's going to die off a lot. So let's just say they peak at 200 players. Let, let's say 200 players, alright? Yeah. Um... We struggle sometimes to find people with 600 players in the server, so how's that going to be during the off-peak times when they're pulling 75 to 100 players? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, well we can speak of experience based on uh, the Owl Gaming that tried to compete with GTA World. Mm -hmm. And, that's they closed the down and I don't quickly. think Owl Gaming had a bad script to my knowledge either. They had a very good script. The only thing is, it wasn't the script that let them down. It was unfortunate uh, that, uh, like LSRP, they had a slightly questionable reputation throughout their sum rate. And here's and the thing. MTA rate. And here's my thing with the LSRP. They uh, sell. If you read it, a lot of the people that are playing there have been banned from GTA World or have been rejected or of that mm. nature, and some of them have quit on their own just because they don't enjoy GTA World, that's fine, everybody's got their own opinion. You know what, I have my opinions of the server too, where some things can definitely improve, uh, and I'm sure a lot of us do, but at the end of the day, the guy leading the LSRPV had already let one server fall and, and put many of the admins and stuff in place originally, that let the SAM server fall before Rage MP was even that popular. So I'm just like, is it really going to be that much different in the long run? I really, really do not think so. I think people are very much overhyping it, and the expectations are way too high for what the most realistic outcome is going to be. Did you know for their police department, you need to have a bare minimum average of one hour a day to be part of the faction? So in other words, it's basically like, don't have a life or play here, that's your or don't have a life and play here, or have a life and don't play here. That, that's kind of the sense that no, I'm No, no, you can't be doing that. One, and I'm going to be honest, one hour a day for a lot of people can be very difficult to make sometimes. If you, oh, and if you miss an hour, that means you got to play two hours the next day. If you miss two days, you got to play three hours. And you know what? To me, I would never be able to make it. There, no, there, I wouldn't even. No, so many people can't play. For an hour a day. A lot of people don't have that ability to play an hour of video games sometimes a day, and if they do, they don't want to play it on just one game all the time. They have other things to do. And I will say with GTA World's PD and SD, the ABAS requirement out of a division is 0.3. So guess what? That allows you to skip basically three days in a row, or four days in a row, and play for an hour. Which is fine. But bare minimum playtime of an hour a day 
all you're asking for is basically to get people in there that they're just going to do nothing but play. And that's not really the kind of people you always want to have. Not saying that those people are bad, but you got to have some different stuff going on in there. But bare minimum hour day is absolutely ridiculous, if you ask me. It's not the one cool. Thing it's not being very... It's not being very good with people who actually, like I said, do have to do other things to play on a faction. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's mainly targeting the uh, younger audiences because uh, mm -hmm. people like oh, that's yourself that's and myself. We work, we drive, we have partners. I believe you have a partner. No, uh, but regardless, if you have a full-time job, you have some friends and stuff. You don't right. have an hour a day average to play on either of the servers, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, but sometimes I struggle to even have an hour in two, three days. Exactly. I go two or three days sometimes without playing. I'll be, when I, like, right now, I said I can only play like an hour, and guess what? That's all I had time for, and I probably won't be online at all tomorrow, so guess what? It is what it is. Like, traffic minimum is 0.7 hour average a day but as long as you meet your minimum requirements and you're fairly close to the 0.7 they're accepting of it because let's, they all know people have lives so I'm usually around 0 0.6, 0 0.65 so I'm not quite at the 0.7 all the time but yeah. I still do all my traffic requirements to go above and beyond as far as that goes so it's not like I'm screwing over traffic to fish type deal <laughs> oh yeah yeah but um, like I said they're accommodating they know I have a life some of them have a life. They don't expect everybody to be able to be like, hey, you gotta play four hours a day, because that's not realistic. Uh, so, to me, as soon as I read that on LSRP V's PD, I'm like, this is definitely not gonna be a good server for people that have other stuff to do besides play on the server. No offense to some people, but that's kind of the gist I'm getting with it. Well, yeah, um, I mean, it's one of those things where it's a uh, hit and miss, really. Um, I do appreciate that GTA World tries to appeal to the factor that, um, well, well, specifically PD, we appeal to that the greater your re uh, responsibility in the faction, the more time you have to dedicate. So, like, if you're a supervisor, that's 1.0, which means you have to at least do an hour a week. Uh, which, that's e even for that, that's pretty okay. Um, an hour a day then, is your AVAS requirement? Uh, for supervisors, I think it's 1.0 ABAS, which... So, one hour is a day. That, no, oh, sorry, that works out at, I think, 10 hours in a month. That's one hour a day. Or, uh, 10 hours, is it one hour a day? Yeah, so I have a 0.65 ABAS right now, which means I average 0.65 hours a day. So oh, okay. I understand it for supervisors, but as far as your general oh, yeah. PD people, they should not have to be forced to play an hour oh. a day. I'm on a point, I'm on point seven, uh, yeah. because I, I stepped down from supervisory. But do you get my point, like, if, yeah. if your normal PD, which is technically going to be your biggest amount of players, they shouldn't be forced to play one or two hours a day to, just to stay in the match. That's, that's not cool. That That is not cool at all. Um, I don't support that. Like, the point three requirement we have is awesome, because if I don't have time to be in the division or something, I can just drop out and say, hey, I can only play for 20 minutes a day average. Guess what? I get to stay in the faction. Oh, yeah. And I don't have, if to, you can't I don't have to quit. Yeah, if you can't reach the ABAS, just put an uh, exemption in and voila, have a nice day. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, I mean... They may tune it, they may not, but as far as, uh, which is the reason why I didn't stay on LSRP long, I was on there for probably no more than a day. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the rep the thing is, it's, it's not always the people's fault, it, because, you know, it's down to the server management and stuff to set the example they want to keep. Yes. And you have to be very firm and keep that uh, reputation regardless whether you have to ban 10 people Oh, a there's day. a bus! Oh, there's actually I a bus? I see a real-life bus! Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> That's ironic. <laughs> That's awesome. We were just talking about that two couple minutes ago. Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I can tell you got excited, Jim. 
But uh, yeah, like I was saying before, there's so many commitments that uh, people like mm -hmm. you're and my age, we have to uh, work, we have to, you know, appeal to families, relationships, all that sort of stuff. So there's more things to it. Like uh, obviously, back in the day, uh, probably about the start of when I was in PD three, four years ago, I was around a little bit more. It's that thing where. The first time you're around it, you're liking it so much. And, you so you just, play, and you're like, I yeah. want to play it, I want to play it, I want to play it. But then it's like, okay, I don't have time to play it, I don't have time to play yeah. it. <laughs> it kind of it kind of drags down afterwards, but that's where you find like you you find new ways of divisions to keep it exciting. Like uh, uh, traffic has access to doing stuff like bait cars, DUIs. I, I'd say uh, it's traffic period. <laughs> you what? I, I'm just saying it's traffic period. I know that. I'm not going anywhere else. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, I I went back into ASD as you've probably heard yeah. me a, a, a far too many times, having to do updates, and it's it's fun. I I like that part of it, um, which is why I'm going to try and appeal uh, to property management to get my character a small little plane, uh, a very small plane, a one seater at most. Um, just to have a little bit more fun because I will agree it can get a little bit repetitive uh, on people flying a helicopter times. huh a little repetitive flying a helicopter well that too and actually being just don't crash your plane in the middle of Davis by accident albeit that could that could uh, that could kill two birds one stone there and take you down hey, Davis down if someone needs to do a lethal interception I'll just press the F key holy shit <laughs> <laughs> There's a pink limousine sitting on Elgin Avenue, oh my god. Oh, that was from the 911 call. That is freaking ugly, dude, holy shit. Oh, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> I see Lenovo Canada has a couple decent prices on gaming computers. I was tempted to pull the Ooh. trigger, but at the same time, I race into this are still the only two games that I really play, but it's got a 3060 and a Ryzen 5700 for 1600 Canadian. I was very tempted to pull the trigger last night because this computer is five years old already. So it's like, oh, should I? But at the same time, it's still like, like I can afford it, no problem, but it's still like, man, that's $1,500 plus tax gone, you know what I mean? I am going to keep my mouth shut on how much I've spent on computers. What, recently, you mean? Oh yeah. Last uh, computers for Last grand. three years, let's put it this way. Times that number you've just said by ten. Why wow, you really kept your mouth shut. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying the exact digit. Let's put it so that way. So we're talking about over ten grand. Uh let's put it this way, double it. What? How? Um Do you want the lie See, or guys we're slowly getting to start talking here. Do you want the lie or the truth? <laughs> the truth um I'm too easily persuaded <laughs> <laughs> I saw the top of the range graphics card the 3090 Ti overclocked and oh, then I no. saw and how much I saw the Titan like I saw the Titan RTX 24 gigabyte and I was like I don't want one or the other I want both what <laughs> Bro, I what like, was, I'm on a 1060. Um, on a graphics card. <laughs> I'm on a 1060. 1060, Jesus, you're that far back already. And an i7 7700 non-K. Oh, I am not going into any details about what CPU or RAM I've got. No, 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 guys, no. this is. We'll be he's probably got 128 gigabytes sitting under there. I've for got RAM. 128 gigabytes of RAM, yes. Oh my fuck! What do you need 128 gigabyte for? Mainly for the RTX. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll take a graphics card. You have to pay me 100 dollars too. <laughs> I have to pay you a hundred dollars? I'm kidding. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll pay you a hundred dollars. I'll be real, I could not afford either of those graphics uh, cards for, on the For the deal. exchange of four thousand dollars. I could the, not, um, I could not afford either of those graphics cards, whether it be on the new or used market. Right oh, now. no, I, I don't agree with the prices on them, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just going to say it nicely. They are working very nice. <laughs> I bet. I was the gonna say you can run whatever EMB you want now, but I guess you can't because EAC decided no EMB. 
Oh yeah, I'm fucking pissed off with that. That's annoying. The game looks more pixelated than it Minecraft. Yeah, like Rage MP deaths are terrible. Let's just be real. I mean, let's put it this way. GTA 5 was slightly underdeveloped in power of graphics. Oh my god, yeah. Why they put that grey filter over the game screen, to I have To make it look idea. a little better, try to. Try to. That's like slapping a pancake on a camera lens and saying, good filter. Yeah. I don't agree, I don't agree with the grayscaling, which is why I've managed to get some of my mods to still work so I can see uh, the horizon, I can see properly. I have uh, depth colours, so mm. green is actually green, not green, grey. Uh, you know, all your colours are stand out. Yeah. Um, but that's my thing. Like, I only play GTA 5 and iRacing, so do I really need to upgrade that badly? Like, iRacing, I will dip to like 40, oh. 45 frames oh. in a big field sometimes, so in this, in a big situation, it'll be like 40, but I'm still like, is it really worth spending 15, 1600 dollars to upgrade it just to keep 60 all the time? I mean, the only thing that would benefit slightly would be my rendering times for the videos and my YouTube. You wouldn't get 60 all the time, unfortunately, what with is it? Uh, how Rage works. Yeah, so what's the point in getting a new computer, right? For me. If what I play now is fine. Yeah. Or mostly fine. Like, I could definitely use the slight graphics upgrade, yes, but overall it's still okay like I can is only that run, way of I can only run 2 to 4x anti-aliasing I can only run 2 to 4x anti-aliasing right and like medium-ish settings but it's mm. it's whatever the graphical difference between medium and high is not that huge as far as I'm concerned on GTA 5 it it does benefit if you're on a larger resolution which I'm playing on a screen that can spot 8k yeah so there you go but besides that not a huge amount of difference. Anyways, guys, say goodbye to Miss Gray over here. We are going to end the Let's Play here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We didn't get a whole lot of RP in the second portion, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed some of the banter and the chatter and enjoyed listening to us, you know, just go on and on and on about our lies and our, uh, oh, yeah. his uh, $300 million computer. <laughs> <laughs> have, a good, have a good one, everybody. Say goodbye, Miss Gray. Have a nice day. Don't forget to eat your chicken and buy another GPU.